Hi, I'm Ricardo Mead, founder and director of the El Socorro Center for Wildlife Conservation. I'm here today with the Nature Nature campaign to teach you about the harmful effects of the trade in the redfoot and yellowfoot tortoises. Also, what you can do about it. So what's the problem with selling these tortoises as pets? First, they are vanishing from our local wilderness. The yellow-footed tortoise is now considered vulnerable to extinction. And while the threat level to the red-footed tortoise has not yet been assessed, it's quite possible that they may face a similar threat. It is immoral and irresponsible to remove ecologically vulnerable species from their natural habitats for sale. Even buying captive bred tortoises is risky, since it is difficult to authenticate whether they really are captive bred or if you are interacting with an unscrupulous seller who is lying about the source of their goods. Wild caught tortoises may even have been trafficked into the country as part of the harmful and illegal wildlife trade. The second problem is that these vanishing species play vital roles in our ecosystems. Not only do they eat carrion and keep the forest clean, but they eat whole fruit without damaging the seeds and disperse them over wide distances. This makes them essential for the forest to continue growing and providing homes for other animals. Unfortunately, hunting and habitat loss have severely impacted tortoises in Trinidad. They are already gone from Tobago and are becoming hard to find in Trinidad. Further loss of these rare and elusive creatures could seriously harm the forest ecosystem. The scary thing is that since it takes over 50 years for some of the seeds that they disperse to grow into trees, we wouldn't even know what we had lost until it's too late. Many people who keep these animals captive do not understand the extent of their care needs. Both species grow to over 40 centimeters long. The yellow-footed tortoises can reach 94 centimeters long. Both have a complex diet and require a lot of space. In captivity, red and yellow-footed tortoises are prone to malnutrition, especially in vitamin A deficiency, as well as beak overgrowth, metabolic bone disease, reproductive problems, and respiratory disease. They should live for 50 years or more, but most pet tortoises don't make it that long. So what can you do to protect yellow-footed and red-footed tortoises? First, don't buy wild. Don't support anyone catching and selling tortoises from the wild or trafficking them from overseas. If you become aware of trafficking, report it to the authorities. In Trinidad and Tobago, this means contacting the Forestry Division in Trinidad or the Department of Natural Resources and Forestry in Tobago. You can also make an anonymous report via Crime Stoppers TT. Second, if you see these tortoises, do not remove them from the wild. Some of us might encounter these animals near where we live or even in our own backyards. Don't be the reason that a vulnerable species vanishes from the forest. If the tortoise is not in a dangerous situation, leave it alone. If you encounter an animal in distress, you should contact a wildlife rescue organization which can appropriately assist the animal. Third, if you already have one of these tortoises, give it proper care. Consult your veterinarian about diet, water, and light requirements, space, and other care needs. If you find that you cannot take care of your tortoise, you should relinquish it to a wildlife rehabilitation center. They will be able to give it proper care and maybe even rehabilitate it so it can go back into the wild one day. Yellow-footed and red-footed tortoises are an important part of Trinidad and Tobago's amazing biodiversity. Join us in protecting them. Remember, don't buy wild.